and welcome. It is my honor today to present to all of you, Helena Gudger, who is a Boston-based artist. She loves to paint, she's a self-taught artist, but she loves to paint on all different kinds of media, whether that be a bottle, cardboard, paper, envelope, it doesn't matter. She's also very passionate about meditation and strongly believes that every human being is an artist and any form of art is meditation. She is an Akal Indie Art Ambassador. Welcome, Helena, to Lokwani. Thank you so much for giving your time. Thank you, Ranjini ji. Thank you so much. So firstly, I would, do, uh, would be so grateful to Lokwani, to Akal Vidyalai, to Parveen ji, that you know, I approached her first, and to Jarna ji, and to you, who are always you know uh, handling all the show, and I would always uh, thank all of you to bring me to this platform and to serve all the remote villages, all the children who are going to get benefit out of these workshops. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, what a pleasure at Lokwani! We are so pleased that you found out about all of this through Lokwani, you know, that is our effort to do that. And I'm so glad you did that. Um, and I really wanted to say, I thank you. You know, Ekel is truly doing great work and we are but small instruments in this big wheel that is actually bringing education to over 100,000 rural remote villages, educating 3 million children. And in the art, uh, for those of you who may be watching this video, is an art competition which is hosted by Ekal Vidyalaya, where we are letting people submit their creative artwork pieces while at the same time helping bring digital education to rural remote villages. So Helena, now you are a self-taught artist. How did, uh, I heard you were profession or your training was in nutrition. And uh, so how did you go from being a nutritionist <laughs> into being an artist was it a parallel journey could you describe that for us yeah sure so uh, my art passion started when i was a 10 year old kid and it was through one of my teacher uh, my art school teacher and she inspired me that you have a very good hand you know in your art and you know designs and all that after that i uh, again uh, stopped it and I, I moved again to my career and in 11th and 12th grade, I took science, but then it was not, you know, uh, so much to my heart. And I, st I said, no, this is not the thing, but still I continued it. And then through one of my aunt, she is uh, already a very established uh, artist in Mumbai. Oh. And she has a very big institute, which is 80 years old institute. And that institute is named Rajaram Fine Arts. And in that institute, I started teaching with her and to all the kids, you know, the small children, uh, you curious young uh, buddies. So, uh, and then I started uh, seeing myself that, yes, I can do this and I can, you know, take this forward and maybe as a hobby uh, right now. But then uh, uh, I was still continuing my passion, uh, my uh, sorry, career in nutrition. I completed it and after that I did a job for certain years but then after that I came here in US and um, since five years now I am only doing art and I changed my profession that no I don't want to perceive it further and I want to you know come into this art field and that's how I am right now here. That's with awesome. you guys. <laughs> That's awesome. That really is. You give me, I think out of this, I'm hearing two things. One is that uh, we must keep art programs going on in schools because yes. it was your art teacher who motivated you. So yes. you know, people are always worried about, uh, you know, bringing art programs in schools and, um, and uh, the value of having a mentor like your aunt who was right. going to take you under your wing and, you know, starting something like that 
you know, for right. her is a terrific thing. So really, really wonderful to hear that. And uh, I'm also glad that uh, you decided, you know, that art was it. And because your talent is just incredible, you know, as I can be seen from the beautiful picture that you have <laughs> behind me. Now you said that, um, you know, you paint on anything. Right, uh, paint on you, anything. Can you tell me how did that happen? So I generally uh, into, I'm into acrylic and watercolors more. So my medium is that, but I think that I, when I started it, I was doing it on paper, but then I uh, one day experimented it on, you know, envelopes that why lets me try, you know, that uh, doing on envelopes and then uh, it was a success. And after that, I started doing on wood and, you know, bottles and many more uh, medias, cardboard, you know, uh, being waste out of best the uh, and uh, then it was a success and i i believe that if, if you have the talent if you have you know that patience talent determination in art you can do anything that's anyway so it's interesting you look at art as colors yes not not what it goes on and that's right. a very important thing so it looks like is that what inspires you colors or what inspires your art yeah, so uh, when I look at a certain uh, picture, I always keep in mind the depth, where is the lighting, where is the shadow, and that's how we create a depth in a picture. And I always feel that whenever we do any kind of art, it is like a meditation in itself, because when you are doing the art, you forget everything around you. You are just focused in you know, that creativity which keeps on flowing as you go ahead so for me when i am doing art i forget if it, even if it is a day or a night i can i can wake the whole night and you know i can yeah i can dedicate my passion into it so yeah. that's truly amazing and also meditation is important to you you brought that up um, right so is there a style of meditation you follow or would you know would love to know about that a little bit so i follow a certain um, uh, I work on, my, on meditation with certain thought levels. So I uh, follow a lady whose name is Louise Hay and she's all over the world actually. She is uh, mostly in uh, uh, almost 100 countries right now and she has a lot of books and all that. So I follow her and I work mostly on the mental thought levels, bringing it into positive, uh, changing it into positivity and um, healing your own self will heal everything around you when you are loving and you know we have when you have a loving heart from within you will all automatically radiate that love everywhere and things will change That's it will amazing. magically change magically change a beautiful message for our current times when people are Yes. Really, really, you know, dealing with the changes and it's not easy for people. And so that is really great to know that uh, I think uh, Indians, you know, from ancient times have always told us that at the end of the day, it is controlling your mind, you know, and the right. Gurukul has always taught meditation first, yoga right. and meditation first before they taught you math and science. And I think there's yeah. much value to that. So that that's right. really beautiful. And uh, so have you really had personal experience of healing through meditation? Yes, I do. I have already healed myself physically and mentally uh, and it has a tremendous effect and uh, you, can, you can really, really come out of any disease if you have a right thought pattern and it, it, it works. Yeah. So for COVID, right? Like we can, instead of using vaccines, maybe we should do meditation. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which right. Be, yeah, that's sounds true. like it's an important thing, right? So I think that's Because great. when we are so much tired, we have so much fear right now all around us that automatically our immunity is going low yeah. without getting being touched with by anyone or anything. Right. Our immunity is getting low. And because of that, we are inviting all the, you know, viruses. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, Akal Indie Art, I know you said you love teaching children. So you are going to be offering a workshop. Um, right. And I think actually you've attended some of the other workshops that other people have given as well. And um, right. so how have you as an artist enjoyed the other 
workshops given by other artists has that been fun oh yes i uh, came across so many different styles of art which i had never done before like madhubani art and uh, you know uh, and uh, there were different uh, other art as well now naeem ji is offering a pencil sketch art which i am very thrilled you know to uh, experiment and learn from different artists and their teaching skills especially how they teach and uh, that's incredible everyone are very nice that's great it looks like there's a big beautiful community of artists that have come together who are learning right. and teach actually we didn't know that's what is going to come out of this and so <laughs> we are so pleased you know that it's been a a really good good experience for all of you so in your workshop what do you think people can expect oh yeah so i am doing a, a mandala workshop uh so mandala is basically a workshop of designs but i am going to give a different variation in that which is mandala dot art so it is also a famous uh, uh pattern of you know colors going around and it will be on a, a rainbow a rainbow effect nice. and it is going to be the theme is eyes of hope that means uh, the light which is within is radiating all around us and it is creating a hope that everything will will you know end one day or everything is temporary everything will be okay so i am uh, going to create that mandala art with all the children i hope they love it oh and adults too yeah yeah i think that makes a lot of sense and so uh, so these mandalas are in general used actually as spiritual instruments right they yes, are yes yes and so just by creating the mandala you will get enlightenment is that the idea there that the, if it is done right then you will reach god so uh, whenever you are doing a, a dot mandala or any pattern mandala it gives an illusion effect so when it it as if it is radiating from the center and going to all over you know all around so the illusion will create that you know, effect which will uh, be in the workshop and you will clear your illusions that's what you're saying <laughs> if you do mandala yeah. that, that's the spiritual power of it that if it clears right. your illusions and then once the illusion yeah. is gone you know access yeah. the and everything gets into peace. peace everything will be peaceful yeah definitely definitely that is really wonderful i think that's a very relevant uh, theme especially you know given all that is going around so we look right. forward to the workshop where people will learn not only art but will hopefully get peace as well so Thanks. yeah om shanti what a om pleasure shanti. thank you helena ji for thank your time thank you so much look forward to your workshop